Well done, Log. You're welcome to Galway. It's been a huge week for you. Big reaction since the documentary. And of course, you're in Galway for another reason, another documentary. Yeah. Uh, look, uh, firstly, like, just, you know, it's great to be here. Like, um, yeah, I, you know, something I've I've been thinking about for quite a while. Like, um, you know, the whole issue of people, like, maybe living, I don't know, hidden lives or that, you know. And uh, look, I, I think in Galway, like, you know, there's you know there's a huge element out there, you know, at the moment, and you know we're going to look at that in the next documentary. There's so many people living in denial. I couldn't believe it. Like, you know, it's sad. Like to think there's so many people in this city, like who are, you know, for me, like they're living a total lie. And I mean, you have people from like places like Mayo and Roscommon, and like they move to Galway, like, and they're like, they have to live this lie that they're not they're actually from Galway, like. And to me, that's just that's alien to me, like, and I think it's sad, like, you know, that they they have to pretend, like, that they're actually from Galway, like, that they they don't have the confidence, like, to say, I'm proud and I'm from Mayo, or I'm proud and I'm from Roscommon, like, and it's, I just think, like, I hope in my lifetime, you know, that we'll see it, that these people would be proud to come out and say that they're from Mayo or they're from Roscommon, and, like, that they're living in Galway. Tell us about some of the stories that you heard. I mean, I spoke to a guy, I'm not going to give his real name, but we'll say his name is Paul. And I mean, I thought it was so remarkable, like, and so alien to think that he moved on from, I think it was Cross Maline or Belmullet or somewhere like that. But it's not important, like, where he's from. But look, for him, the total feeling of isolation when he moved to Galway, like, and he felt the need, like, to totally change who he was just to try and fit in in Galway like and I thought it was just so sad and like he went to you know ex- extreme measures like you know this guy was he started walking a prom he started like going to me Cambridge drinking coffee on a Saturday he even joined sort of knock the carriage GA club I mean for heaven's sake I mean what kind of mental torture must he have been enduring inside in his own mind just to try and you know if you like hide the fact of where he was from and like I just think it's just it's a terrible indictment as society that you know these guys are out there and it's I, I was just it, it's it's so sad like how would Paul contain himself then in the summertime when maybe Mayo would be in championship action or even the odd September they'd get to a final I mean I, I asked him that question like, and he said Donald I totally had to just blank out the fact that I was from Mayo and like he couldn't even he wouldn't even wear the jersey like you know and he's like he's a diehard Mayo fan he wouldn't even wear the jersey he started going to like Connacht rugby matches and going around town like you know sunglasses on top of the head walking out the prom maybe drinking the odd bottle of craft beer instead of a proper pint like just to fit in like just to you know to try and become like you know that he wasn't who he actually was like and I don't know, like, I, I just felt so sorry for him because I, I just I thought it was so sad. You met another man called Brendan from Balladrine. I mean, t- yeah, I mean, like, Brendan was a, he was a terrific guy, like, and he was so smart, like, and he was so articulate, like, and in his hometown in Balladrine, like, he told me he didn't even know if he was from Roscommon or Mayo, like, and I mean, he came to go within. He already had like a, you know, like a, an identity crisis, if you like. He didn't know what county he was from, and then he comes into Galway, like, and he's faced with all this social isolation. And again, like, he just said, "Look, what I had to do, what I felt was right for me at the time, you know." And again, he just ditched everything about his own personality and where he was from, like, and the person who he was, just to try and fit in. And he, he, I think, he even. He, t- he was going to join Salt Hill, but they didn't put through the paperwork. But, I mean, he went to every measure possible just to try and fit in and hide the fact of who he was as a real person. You also spoke not just to fellas, but to a couple of girls as well. One lady in particular, Bridget from Bohola, who changed her whole accent. Yeah, I mean, it's like... I spoke to her, like, and she could have been from, I mean, Dorky or Ranelagh or, you know, a leafy suburb of Fox Rock. And, like, she said... She said, don't. She said, you don't know what it's like. She said, if I brought my Bohola accent here into Galway, people would laugh. Like, and I said, you don't have to change your accent. Like, it's what's most important is like you as a person, who you are. You know, 
for me, like, I never lost my Cork accent, like, and I remember for years, it doesn't matter, like, if I met someone from Kerry or whether they're from Dublin or Belfast or Bohola or anywhere, like, it shouldn't matter, like, where you're from or what your accent's like, and, I mean, Bridget there was just another example, like, you know, she just changed the person of who she was, like, and I just thought it was so sad, like. The documentary is called Living a Lie. Uh, when can we expect to see it on our TV screens, Donald? Uh, well, it's currently going through production at the moment, like. but uh, I, I'm hoping it's going to be out in the next couple of weeks. So, um, But look, you know, I think what's most important is like that there's, there's people out there listening right now who are in the same position as the people I spoke about there. And like just to let them know like they're not alone. And like there's, there's help out there, you know, and... Let them get onto their Hogan Stand forums, go into their county pages, like, and I'm sure there's, there's always support and help out there for these people. Don't log, thanks for talking to us. Pleasure.